Today we are going to be doing the world famous Rorschach test. Ror Rorschachter sauce. Rorschach. Rorschach. Oh, Rorschach. Uh, okay. It's like Shaq, but he's With roaring. So this is the famous test. You've seen it in like movies. Mm -hmm. It's that ink blot test. It was designed in 1917 by Herman Rorschach, who is fine. What? Put a photo here. So it was apparently designed to find out if somebody had schizophrenia, but over time has slowly developed into a type of personality test. So we at Chelsea on our team gather some of the inkblot tests that we're gonna look at today. So we have no idea, we haven't seen them, and then we're gonna find out what people typically see, what are the most popular answers, and then talk a little bit about whether or not, you know, this, this is test valid is legit. at all or complete bull. Let's do it. Apparently I just have to say, the first thing that comes to my mind, um, like a, terrifying like frog face. Okay, as I'm staring at it, and now I'm literally seeing like two women with like busts and they're like holding, they're like holding balls or something like that. And <laughs> I, I like immediately see two people lifting kettlebells and bleeding out of the backs of their heads. And they're wearing high heels with boners, kind of. So most people see two waiters bowling. <laughs> Bowling. Bowling in that way that's not that pro though, you know, the underarm one. If you hesitated on this one, you might be a little bit neurotic or lack social awareness in situations. Did I hesitate? I feel like I had a, like, a pretty immediate answer. I mean, instantly you think like some type of bat or butterfly because it's literally got wings and it's almost exactly in the shape. I mean, it seems more sinister the longer I look at it, but like, like sneakily sinister. Butterfly, moth. South American, bat, love it. Most people saw a bat. A bat, really? Yeah, okay. First thing that comes to mind for this one, I don't know why I felt like a mountain. Like I felt like it was kind of like a landscape photo. Now I'm seeing two baby cubs kissing. They're just like snuggling up their noses to each other and being all cute. Ooh, like some awesome people with bloody knees high-fiving and their heads are chopped off. Oh. If you saw them in a healthy relationship, then you are better in conflict. Oh, calm in the face of violence. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've never really had to face severe violence, so I don't want to find that out. Okay, good to know. <laughs> don't come for me. This is a really busy one. So first thing I thought was the Eiffel Tower. I don't know why. I guess because there's literally a gray thing like in the distance that looks like a tall tower. Now I'm staring at it. It seems a lot more like coral, like those blue things kind of look like crabs to me and the pink things kind of look like seahorses. Ooh, coral reef. Into it. There's a lot of like biological stuff in here. It looks like Bjork's newest album cover. Most people saw crabs and spiders. Ooh, this one's like scary. Uh, this, oh, oh, this one's really scary. It seems like a demon to me. The first thing I thought of was like Ganon from Zelda that he, but like a weird version where you're like looking from his feet up. Like he's like looking down like this. It looks like a under the crotch up view of a raccoon with dodgy hands. But I can see the bottom of his feet and he's looking down on me and he's like, I'm about to eat your garbage. People saw an animal hiding or a rug. Oh, wow, it does look like a rug. So this one represents how you view authority figures, like your parents, the government, your boss, or, some t or sometimes the male sex. Oh, <laughs> that's a stretch. I did think it was looking down on me though. Wow, that's, that is dark. Sorry, mom and dad. I swear I don't see you as like the literal evil and sorry, Greg, I didn't realize I see men as like possessive, crazy demons. Learn something new every day about yourself. Oh my God. Okay, so it's like two cute bears on either side or like sort of animals with boners. And it's not the usual like two point perspective that the Western world has. It's more of like a circular artistic structure. Oh, this one's pretty. Either like iguanas surfing, like wind surfing. They seem to be having a pretty good time. Most I think I feel pretty comfortable with this one. Like it seemed like a very nice photo. It's bright colors and it felt like positive as opposed to like creepy. If it makes you feel uncomfortable in any way, you might have a little bit of social anxiety. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Perfect. Yeah, I don't believe any of this stuff. Which of the things that you saw stuck out for you? Well, I don't know if we saw the same thing, but it was like the cute little bears like kissing. I saw lots oh, of blood dark. and boners. Oh, I mean, I guess those things kind of go together. Would you ever take a test like this seriously? I'm not a professional. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychotherapist. I'm not a neurologist or anything like that. But like the way it works for me, I would have to know a whole lot more from the perspective of those people to understand if they see it working. That's like kind of what the research says. A lot of people are very skeptical of this because right. what people say it can do is so extrapolated with no empirical evidence. And they even used it back when homosexuality was considered a psychological disorder to diagnose homosexuality. For example, if people saw a lot of boners, Oh, <laughs> so maybe it works. But I think it was fun. I think it's fun for anyone out there to do it, it to try. Fun. And it's just like, it definitely speaks to you and how you interpret it. And I think that's- Or not. Cool <laughs> you anyway, should try it out with your friends. Yeah, well, we can link below with some of the pictures and stuff that we saw. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Bye. Einstein says bye. Detroit Tigers say bye. <laughs>